clearly I was lucky. I, I had a musical gift and, and it was recognised. And um, I took up the piano very early on. Actually, I was five years old. I started the piano. Did it take you or did you take it? It took me because I used to, I used to, I noticed you've got some lovely bookcases here. I used to play the bookcase. And, and I was good at the bookcase, actually. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so I would sit in front of the bookcase and play ch tunes, songs, pieces. Fiora Lee's of Beethoven was a big favourite. I could play it note perfect on the bookcase. <laughs> <laughs> and the but, bookcase smiled. It did, it did. <laughs> and so my parents bought a piano and they didn't have much money. So they bought a, they bought a really terrible out of tune piano, but I played this thing and loved it. And I had piano lessons. And, it, and, the, and the director, uh, the guy who taught me piano was um, conductor of the church choir in, in the town where I lived. And actually my best friend, his eldest brother was, Andrew Davis, uh, Andrew oh, Davis, the conductor. Um, and again, he was uh, still at school and he was assistant organist at the church. And um, so it was, a, it was a musical church, but I, I, so I got involved in that church. And then the vicar said to my parents, you know, your son's clearly quite musical. You know, you should, you should send him to choir school where my mum and dad thought, you know, was choir school. <laughs> and um, so I, they did, and I, I had the, I went up to audition at King's College, Cambridge, and I got in, and and it was so strange because from that moment on, it was that thing where you think, actually, I, I recognised I was in a world that I thought I know this world already, you know, you you kind of think uh, um, this is the world where I want to be, and. Um, and you're six years old. Yeah, absolutely, <laughs> and just a few years later. Benjamin Britten came to our school and we because we were going to sing the the um, the spring symphony and the war requiem and the boys choir part in that and we did that and I can remember singing that not being able to sing because I was crying yes. and I thought I don't know what this is but I've got to do it you know that was that yeah. you know yeah. and then you think all the all the things that happen afterwards happen as a result of that. I can remember going up, you know, we lived on the edge of London and, and I used to go up to London on the, on the underground train from where we lived. And, and my sister and I would go up on the train to concerts at the Royal Festival Hall or whatever. And, and we would see people that we just thought were idols, you know, these great musicians, you know, I heard um, all sorts of people, I'm, you know, a well, endless list of people. It was, a, you know, London was an amazing place for artists. And, and I remember my sister saying to me, when, when you, we heard a great singer, you know, do you think you could do that? No, I couldn't do that. And then, and then you'd hear a new piece because, you know, in the seventies, which was probably what it was then, new music was very, very active in London. Um, and you'd hear a piece and you'd think, um, my sister said, do you think you could do that? And I'd say, no, not a chance. I couldn't, I couldn't envisage myself being at that level, you know, and then you, you, you well, work. But there your... are those who say you, you need that vision. You need to be seeing you... something farther out, well, you something do. to which one can aspire. You do, because in a sense, you look at it and think, I don't know what that is, but I've got to try and do it. Mm -hmm. And and you you draw yourself into that kind of world, or it draws you in. Actually, you, you there's no other option. It draws you in yourself. So you you think, well, um, this is the only world that I know. Was that your sister's experience too? Well, no, not really, because she actually she's incredibly musical. She's three years older than me. Um, she's very very musical and sings in a choir, but she didn't have the opportunities that I had. Yeah. No opportunities for women, of course, of then, course. which of course there are now. But for boys and men, it was easy. If you had, uh, you know, in England, you could be a chorister or so. Yeah. For a girl, you were, no. Boys choirs, well, of course, yeah. by girls choirs. Yeah. No, but of course that's all changed now. And, um, and we have wonderful girls choirs at practically every cathedral in uh, Britain. 
And I'll tell you, the standard of the singing of young women in our country is absolutely outstanding. Thank you.